So, you know, don't be a prisoner. <laughs> it's Larry Hockman, nomoreholdingback.com. I'm a certified counselor who helps people break through from fear to success. I was all set to write prisoner. That subject line will probably be the subject line of wherever you're seeing this, a letter or a blog post. It's a powerful concept and it was powerful enough that I didn't want to just write it. I wanted to give it the authority of actually speaking it to you. So this will be quick, but I've got to say it. It doesn't matter if it's marketing, it doesn't matter if it's romance, it doesn't matter what it is. There's a thing that happens that you want something badly enough, almost always from another person. And you chase that person down. And if your force of will is strong enough, or your technique, especially in marketing, is strong enough, you might be able to turn that person. The only problem is that they become dependent on you being the pursuer. And they forget to use their own force of will. They forget what they want. And they become a prisoner of your activity. And if you go away, and you always will, because something else becomes more important, you got other priorities, you leave them holding the bag. They're high and dry. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that to them. You don't want to do that to yourself. You want to have enough respect for their dignity and respect for your time. Get that person out of the way. So that you are honoring them by giving them the dignity of letting them come to you. Don't make yourself a prisoner. Don't make anyone else a prisoner. And there's lots of ways to do that. Wherever you happen to be working, you'll find what it is and you will find ways to empower people so that they're coming to you. You know how to do that. If you don't, stick around because <laughs> we got some tools to help you. NoMoreHoldingBack.com. Jump on the new newsletter. Find your own liberation. Talk soon. Bye-bye.